I'm Kim Greeley, and I'm from St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Uh, and I'm a visual artist, a painter, and a screen printer primarily. Usually I deal with the landscape in my paintings and my screen prints. Um, I like to think about how we view our landscape as a contemporary society, um, varying away from like the details of a tree or a rock that we would study while sitting on a beach, and more thinking about how we actually travel through our landscape, like going from A to B. And most of us usually only really see our landscape traveling from one community to the next. So a lot of my work has the motif of the road in it. And so thinking about how most people who live there or even come to my province see the landscape through through the eye of the windshield of the car. When the uh, application came up for the residency, I thought it was a great opportunity to leave like the surroundings that I'm usually um, just kind of always surrounded in and react to. So like my own culture, my own heritage, my own architecture, um, and my own place. And so I kind of came here with like an open mind um, you know, some people were kind of like, are you going to go over and start drawing the roads of Ireland? Uh, but I don't, it didn't really respond to me when I came here to do that because it isn't my place. Um, so yeah, just came with an open mind and the value of the residency for me was to have a concentrated time of like thinking and thought and of uninterruption and to not have like my domestic responsibilities of being a mother, um, which I do at home. So yeah, it was uh, good to just wake up at like one o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning and the, the thought that I had at midnight can kind of continue and then wake up at eight o'clock and then the idea just keeps continuing. So yeah, that's where the value of like being here really was. I think that sometimes when you arrive with a specific project, you can kind of just get tripped up in um, implementing that idea and that process. So I wanted to, even though that's really in my nature to do those type of things, I really wanted to push myself to come with an open mind and to not have a you know, preconceived notion of exactly the process that I would make. Um, obviously, I didn't know where I was going or you know, what the studio would be like or what I would explore and find. And I had lots of ideas, but um, those didn't really come through in the end. So the first week I just spent mostly just looking, studying, and um, just being here and seeing what I found and the reaction to that is, is, is sort of what came from, yeah, from just uh, puttering about. I wasn't really interested more in um, specifically what happened here or what this uh, the site was used for. Um, I was more interested in just like the buildings that were standing. So one thing I started to think about was how we also like view architecture usually in like the past and in the future. So thinking about like, what was this structure before? This was a squash court, which is like fascinating and amazing. And then the conversation immediately goes to, what could this place be? And then, but quite often we don't, or I was more interested in thinking about like, what is this space now? And I thought that was a real value to artists being here, especially for myself, from my perspective. Um, and I think that the thing that I did find the value was the imagination and just um, that when you entered the space, uh, you were free to imagine anything. It wasn't what it was or what it could be, but kind of what it is now. Instead of thinking about the spaces of the men that lived there and, and specifically what they did, I was thinking of them more about just as people, as you are a person or I am as a person, and whether we live here or there, 
um, isolation usually creeps into my work. So thinking about like isolation um, and what that means to each of us. Going back to the idea of like what the space is now, I started thinking about the plants that were actually here and them being um, uh, what is inhabiting the space now and who they are. So um, I started doing drawings of each of them as like these portraits of the bramble or of the fireweed um, or of the bracken, uh, that kind of thing. So some of the images are of portraits of the space, but then also thinking about like the hedgerow and, um, you know, getting to these spaces is just kind of a jungle. jungle. Um, so taking the, the bracken and making the wallpaper. So I'm also really interested in like inside and outside um, the landscape and the domestic, which is something that I've been working with for the past couple of years in my, in my practice. So the idea of what's outside and then bringing it inside, so it becoming the wallpaper, which is this decorative thing, but using elements of the landscape. And then just by wallpapering it, it kind of brings the notion of the domestic, um, which I also really, really like. Yeah, traveling here and being a part of ArtLink and meeting everybody that's working here was just absolutely amazing um, and so fun to just be like kind of pulled out of my own arts community and then to meet people here that are basically across the pond, as we say, um, doing the same thing that I find value in my own community, um, sitting on boards, um, being part of programming committees, um, a hosting artists that are doing residencies, helping install shows, which is just like really important to me <clears throat> in my own practice and as a as an artist. And so, yeah, I've sit on um, programming committees, and grants, and juries, um, and I find that there's a lot of value and um, and a and a really great way to learn and learn about people and learn about your community and how you, how you bring those things together. Um, so yeah, I've set up artist-run centers before. Uh, one of the previous artists that were here, Michael Flaherty, uh, and the director of Eastern Edge Gallery as well, as, 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 well as uh, a handful of other people years ago put together a, a gallery, which is, was A1C, which is what our postal code was in St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, and one thing that we really wanted to do with our Artist Run Center was to have a residency program because I felt like the value of an artist coming and working for a month and then from the work that they made uh, becoming an exhibition uh, kind of gave to the community a little more, uh, getting to know them, maybe helping them produce their work or install it or just being around having dinners and suppers instead of you know just having an artist fly in from another uh, city and country and, and installing and then kind of leaving the next day. There was a, a disconnect. So I think that the value of like having residencies is, is huge, yeah. When I was speaking with ArtLink, uh, Rebecca had mentioned uh, the Dairy Print Workshop in Dairy and connected me with those folks. And uh, so I traveled to Dairy and went in and Paul and Kara were so welcoming and lovely and opened their space uh, to let me work there. So traveling there into Dairy, which was lovely to like even get to know another town outside of Bonkrana and uh, to make work there, which was, so I went in twice a week, uh, each week to, to print there. Because also I, I love the idea of like meeting other printmakers and, and learning about what, what they're doing there and also their, their centers and how they're managing because I'm also involved with like um, St. Michael's Print Shop in St. John's and, um, 
and I know like our struggles there and then also the connection between Artlink and the dairy print shop I was interested in as well as like how Eastern Edge and St. Michael's works together. And so I was really happy to um, have Artlink support me to go there and to have dairy print shop support me to make work for here. Through this residency, there came to a point where I kind of figured out what I was thinking about with the install and putting the wallpaper up and installing that. And I was like, okay, I'm really happy with, you know, what I've done on the residency and, and, and just feeling like that was a bit of an end point. But then after a day, I've just like kind of turned this point and started thinking about Ireland and the folklore and um, the stories from what I did do. So I've been doing a lot of research with like um, thinking about the bracken. So last night I had a fire and started burning all the wallpaper and they're yeah, within the uh, Irish folklore, if you burn bracken, then that becomes uh, rain. It has to do with like lightning and rain, so it's bad luck to actually burn it. And there are stories about how when a king would come to visit, they banned the idea of anyone burning uh, the bracken fern because they wanted it to be sunny while they were there. So starting to look into those type of stories. So then again, adding to the portrait of the, the plant and then the honeysuckle, um, been learning about how um, the honeysuckle has to do with like uh, love and um, if you take the le the flowers of the honeysuckle and put it under a little girl's bed then she'll find love um, and then also making wreaths of honeysuckle which then you can put over your farm doors to uh, make sure that your cows have uh, good milk so like um, I've already started thinking about um, where it's going from there. And myself and two other Newfoundland artists have connected and are gonna get together and, and write something up and approach uh, a local gallery in Newfoundland at Eastern Edge and apply for a show there. So uh, in the next year or two, we'll come from our experiences here and see what, we, what, what comes together as an exhibition. It's really exciting.